A tennis ball of mass m strikes a wall at an angle theta, relative to the normal. And what's also important of this normal vector here is that's providing a force. The wall is providing an external normal force to the ball. So because of that, we're going to use the impulse momentum equation. Okay, we have the same speed as it had initially, and we want to find the change in momentum of the ball in the x direction. So we have f delta t equals p prime x final minus px. Now to find p prime, we have p here. This is kind of the hypotenuse of the triangle. So p prime x is just p times cosine theta. Now since we have the same speed after as we did before, initial momentum is the same as final momentum, so we're just going to put p in there. So you have minus p cosine theta, your initial momentum is in the, this direction, to the right. You can see the blue arrow. The final momentum is to the left, so we're going to give that a negative sign. So we have minus p cosine theta, minus p cosine theta, because this is your initial, this is your final. See how we have the negative for the final and positive for the initial? We get a negative 2p cosine theta, and another way of saying that, we just substitute mv in for p, and D is the answer.